is up awesome people and welcome back to part 2 of our Pokemon X and Y Elite Trainer box opening. Okay, so in the last episode, well the last part, we opened up the box, saw what was inside of it. And we saw the box. We saw the box, we saw, the, as I said, the things inside of it. Opened up two boost decks and so far we've got some interesting cards. So, let's continue opening these cards and while I do that, you can stare at Finnegan who stares back at you with those adorable eyes. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's your little focus. Yeah, I'm going to take that out because I don't like people seeing them. Oh, look, it's... it's we're going to start off with a Scatterbug. All right. Oh! Skiddo. It's Skiddo, my favourite 6 gen Pokemon. Oh, it's your mini balls. Yeah, you got both of them now. I can do a... You've got both of my balls. No, I've got a small ball and a big ball. Oh, okay. One of your balls shrank. Oh, okay. It's a sand isle. I quite like sand isle evolution. Although crocodile has gone to OU this gen, so god damn it. Hey, it's got darkness thing. I don't know how that would work, but oh, oh, oh. Now I just need Digsby. Hey, it's a it's a foil skitty. I like that one. Skitty's cool. It's a Macago. Macago's awesome. You got both of them. I need I need to use Macago as well. Oh, speaking of Digsby. You got both of them now. Uh -huh. I don't really like him. He's, he's even got pick up in this as well. He's got pick up and dig. <laughs> pick ups is a bit. Oh! Like I like these cards. Double colorless energy. Uh, double colorless. Colorless. Bleh. Energy. What so. Does that even mean? It gives your Pokemon two energy instead of one, but they're both color colorless. 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 I can't say colorless tonight. Um. Yeah, so normally when you give a Pokemon an energy card. Oh, so, so what's the catch? Like, if you. Why don't no you catch. Just use a, why don't you just use a two, two energy card instead of the other one? Does well, let's take back to Macargo, for example. Now, to use Macargo's moves, you'll need one fire energy and one of any card, any other energy card, which is what this yeah, one represents. Yeah, I understand that. But, like, say if you had. Say if you had, like, just a whole thing of them instead of, like, the single ones, wouldn't that be better? Nope, because you still need don't match the requirements for fire. Oh, so you have to get exact, it doesn't like roll over in like your uh, inventory for energies or anything like that. Okay. No, this would work for a card, like for a Pokemon like Digsaby, for example. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I see. That would knock off two of those, you just need one more energy for Dig. Uh, yeah, That'd I get, be it. I get you, I get you. But you can just equip that straight so away. You can't stockpile energies, is what I'm saying. You can't, you can't stockpile them. Mm, it's probably a bit hard to explain to someone who hasn't actually yeah, played know, before, that's me. No yeah. Like, that would work straight away for Pig Up. Don't but let me hold up your opening. Yeah. You need to learn. Ah, oh, it's a hard charm. And as I thought, it would lower the uh, opponent's attack by 20. Cool. Well, I kind of figured when it said hard charm, I thought I might be referring to the fence or resistance. Alrighty, moving on to the next one. Ah, I'll show this to one of your friends who'll jizz over this. It's a star you. It's a star you, nice. If I get a star me, he'll, j he'll jizz and he'll want to buy it off me. Ah, oh, it's a swirlix. He looks all, uh, Is that eating cherries? It's eating berries, yeah. I'm just liking how realistic it looks. It almost looks like it could be something you find in like the real world. How scary is that? A, a, 3D card. Yeah, a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. That looks almost realistic enough to find them. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! I knew this would happen. It's a fletching! Why Ew! It, why does it have a mentor? It's his only decent move. <laughs> no, it lives. That's my dad. Oh, look at Shelda. Shelda! And I don't like the fat voices now on Yu Yu. That's gross. No, it's scary you got a normal A normal one. one. It's a Ledian. Ah, Ledian's. Ledian's awesome. Yeah. It's got Mac Punch too. Yeah, hey, that's like a foil one. Yep. Simi Sage. Simi Sage. Simi Sage like sup? Or is on something or I'm gonna drop the base once? That's Simi Sage, yeah. Yeah, Simi Sage. Yeah. It's Kakuna. Back in the old gens, like the very first gen Kakuna was out, he actually drew him with arms. Well, when he saw it like in Red and blue as well. You saw Cocoon with arms. That'd be scary. That's how they drew him in the first gens, and then suddenly they just drew him with his arms tucked away. 
Fairy Garden. Each Pokemon that has any fairy energy attached to it, both yours and your opponent, has no retreat cost. Ew! That's... Well, that'd be bad if you have Exernius on the... Well, good if you have Exernius on the field, bad if your opponent has Exernius on the field. And another Sableye. Now, I've got this as a foil, so I've got both normal and foil for Sableye, so that is pretty sweet. Yep, so next one. Next bunch. Remember that time you got me all those Yu Gi Oh cards were open and burned for like a day? <laughs> yeah, we burned for about for us eight hours, I reckon, I think. Yu Gi Oh cards. There were so many. Got about, what, 8,000 cards out of it? Yeah, at least. Yeah. Imagine doing that recording. Yeah, it'd be here forever. We <laughs> would have been there doing it for two days, I reckon. Yeah. Alrighty, so, moving that one out the back. So I got. Pony Art again. Mm-hmm. Spoink! Spoink's cool. It's got Splash too. Of course it's got Splash. It's a Bidoof! I got a Bidoof and a B-Barrel! King Doof and Junior Doof. Alright, so Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn looks pretty cool. It's got Horn Drill too. It's not one hit KO though. Oh, okay, I was gonna ask. Is that one hit? I'm just gonna surprise it. Oh, it's a weird look. What was your Weedle? Oh, you never did a Weedle sweep, that was Caterpie. Ah, uh, look, I got a foil oh, one a too. Ah, oh, it's a hollow go go! That's nice. awesome! I got a Skiddo and a go go. I like go go. Go go hollow looks awesome. Like, the sky is hollow, and then go go unfortunately hasn't got any hollow in them, but it makes go go stand right out of the card, almost like a 3D effect, which is really yeah, cool. Well, Super Potion, always very handy, but unfortunately the downside is you got to discard an energy card for that one. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it, you bloody troll. You bloody troll. Shauna, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. That's pretty cool if you get a really dodgy hand um, on you at the time and then you just use that and then draw another five cards. Do you have like mulligans in Pokemon? Come again? Mulligans. Like, you, you get a bad hand. Oh, you can. I think you can at the start, but I think there's a drawback to it. I think you do it once and then you um, have to use that deck uh, afterwards. I, I think they may have changed the rules to that, I'm not no too worries. sure. Yeah. But I think the drawback is you can only do it once. But then I don't usually do that. Hmm. I don't usually do that either. I just take what I get. And hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, so we're leading this one off with a bunnel by and a phantom. And let me just get Trevor. It's another Inkay, so that's a different version of Inkay. Yeah, yeah, the other one, uh, you get two different versions sometime, and then you get probably two different versions of its evolution as well. Oh, so nice. different artworks, nice. which is a pain when you're collecting them. Chespin! So later on they'll probably come out as a special edition where you get that in foil and you'll probably get the evolutions in foil as well. Most likely Chestnut will be a tin foil as well. Um, Hansia? I like it. Shiny. It's a foil bottle buy. Ah, it's a Bishop. Unfortunately it's not a hollow version. That one it can be a foil. Unfortunately I didn't draw this one so there's about a 50% chance of drawing um, the card straight after your foil as a hollow. So, 50% chance of drawing a hollow. Um, usually, the hollow sits after the foil. Oh, okay. So, unfortunately, I missed out on the what, hollow. I wonder how they do that. They just do it randomly. It's a random one. But that's where the hollow sits. Ah, oh, it's a frogadier. If I draw a green ninja, this is not a green ninja. I'm going to rage. Oh, look, it's, it's a shadow circle. Silver Aracocos. Aric 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 Silver Aracocos. Yeah. I really can't talk tonight. And another Digsaby. Alrighty, so apparently someone's playing Gary's mod. Oh, cool. That's, that's the next card. Alright, we're down to our second, uh, our second last one. Ooh, that one was nearly not going to open. Oh, I need a drink. Come on, bring me luck. Alright, so I go to Pan Sage, so I can do the um, Simi Sage evolution now. 
Oh, come on! <laughs> so, it's scum chew. So, it's scum chew. I hate scum chew. Oh, look, it's one of the leaf energy cards. Now, I usually try and work to get all these ones. I think one has trolled me one time. I missed out on one energy card, and that was it. That's all I needed for my collection. It's, it's a Finnegan! Yay! There's Fennekin there! There's Pop Fennekin down. there! Pop down. It's got Will O' Wisp. It's a Timber. Ah, gross! It's a Foil Talon Flame. Oh, Scum it's got, Flame. It's got, it's got Flare Blitz and Devastating Wind. It's a pity it, it loses the uh, jump cloth. Um, Flare Blitz, discard all the fire energy cards attached to this Pokemon, deals 100 damage. <laughs> then discard this card. <laughs> you may as well. It's a devastating wind. If your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. Solid deck. What's next? It's Scullopede. Now that one should have been hollow as well. Should have been hollow? <sighs> yeah, it's got a chance. Oh, Spear Ah, oh, okay. That looks really cool. I wonder if in this, in this, if you have to have like collect all the uh, Vivillon um, forms. No doubt there would probably be a few Bolivians that you can get. Yeah. yeah. A great ball. Great ball is quite handy as well. I know all the per the balls that you get are quite, quite well, good actually. But. Good looking Pokeball. Um, sometimes they rely on the flip of a coin though. I think Pokeball you have to flip a coin. Whereas Great Boys, you can look, look, I have at, no idea, yeah, look at the top seven cards and you can choose Herdia. a certain amount. And Herdia. I always do Pokeball in the old gens. I always missed out on getting a Pokemon because I kept getting tails and you needed heads to make the effect work. So what does like Pokeball do? Pokeballs, you flip a coin. If you get heads, you can select a Pokemon of your choice or any card, I think, out of your deck and bring it straight into your hand. Oh. It's like a summoning. Sit more into your hand, though. Oh, okay. Which was quite good if you're looking for an evolution. Oh, okay, so not the field into your hand. Into your hand. So if you're looking for an evolution for like a uh, Fletch Tinder, you can follow into Talon Flame. You can just do that. Bring Talon Flame into your oh, hand and evolve. <laughs> so I'm leading with Rhyhorn on this one. Oh my god. Wish I never saw that because now I'm getting really excited. <laughs> I saw a special card. I saw a special card and I've started using. I've um, got a water energy card, so I've got three out of eight energy cards, I think. Stop showing me! I see something special on the back. It's another scatterbug. I'm going to start slowly going up because I want to see that card now. Hey, look at it. It's another pamper. Oh, no, sorry, no, yeah. I haven't got it's that one yet. One. Pamper. Stop showing me! Dude, what is it? What's it going to be? <laughs> Pumpkaboo? <laughs> I'm going to laugh if it's Greninja. Ah, it's Grumpy! Grumpy. It's a foil too. It's got tricky steps and Psybeam. Right. I'm gonna close my eyes so I don't see what it is. Oh, oh nice. my god! Oh, nice, that's your it's Ivantal! That's a cool one. I bet a good design on that. EX as well. Now that's a, a, a what do you call that one? Ultra rare, I think is what you call that one. Um, you have this one, and then the next rarity after that is Full Art, and then after that is your Secret Rare. So, Evangel EX 170 is a dark one, obviously. It's got Evil Ball and Y Cyclone. So, Evil Ball deals 20 plus, requires one dark and one other energy card. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy cards attacked to both active Pokemon. Oh, wow, that's going to be really strong. And Y Cyclone, rise one dark, two other energy cards, does 90 damage. Move an energy card from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon, which is quite good if you've retrieved a Pokemon and need energy cards on it. Alright, that's a very special card that was all worth it in the end after getting like Talonflame and Scum Chew and Scum Flame. Mm. I suppose to say Scum Flame, not Talonflame. Um, Evo Soda. Aladdin. Now there's new chestnut. Actually, I saw chestnut in the store. Actually, I should have bought that. Oh look, it's Mr. Mine. Oh, Mr. Mine, cool. It's got massage. <laughs> Mr. Mine. Heals 60 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. It'll pull like an invisible wall and massage you. And 
actually that's a really good move, Massage. If you've got a Pokemon just ready to faint and you want to evolve it later on. And you massage it. You massage it and you get 60 damage, uh, heal 60 damage from it. Right. So that can be very, very, very handy. Right. I'll slap down 40 plus, flip two, uh, one of those flipping ones. I don't even want to read it because so many bad memories where I've lost a battle because of it. Anyways, that are that is all the cards that I have on me at this point in time. So, as I said two videos ago, I actually have a lot of cards I've collected from the previous decks already. A few full collections. Um, I can show them off if you want to see it. Um, just leave a comment below saying so, and I'll see what I can do about doing a video on all the previous cards from previous decks and all that. And just showing them off and showing off my collection that I've got. I don't really want to go through all the spares that I've got because I might be there for a whole week recording them. And yeah, same deal with Ben. He says he wants to do this as well, but with Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'll do Pokemon and Ben will do Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Did I say... I hope I said Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, you did. Oh, good. Because I'm going through like that stage again. Um, but yeah, we're also thinking about doing like a joint channel where we just do per card openings. And yeah, we'll, just something different. From we'll post those onto our mains as well, just to spread it out as well. So I know how lazy people are, they just want to watch it on one channel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you've got any suggestions on what we can do for card openings and all that, and if we should continue or even just look into continuing. Um, Cut open things, just let us know and we'll see what we can do and if yeah we'll take any good ideas. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of anything else I need to say. Anything else no, that's, that's I've covered everything. Um so yeah, um that's it for the card openings for now until I get a few more cards and yeah. So this is Lady Crimson. And Pip Knight. He's about ready to go to sleep, I think. So, I've got something in my eyes, been watering the whole movie. You know how you get that? You get that. The whole movie, apparently. Oh, yeah, the whole movie, the whole seven years. It's really. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao. Damn that deep, sexy voice. Wait.